Stay tuned if you want to know how we went from this to this with no relaxer. Now, I ain't going to lie, y'all. I almost turned to a weight because I hate doing um, natural shortcuts because it's just so much work. And she booked the haircut and style. So I was like, uh, your hair natural? And she was like, yes. I'm like, um, were you in the relaxer? She was like, no, I don't do those. I'm like, oh, my God. But... Um, it actually happened to be a not so busy day, so I was like, and she was looking sad, so I was like, I'll just go ahead and do it. But there are a lot of steps when doing a natural shortcut. Um, and natural just means the hair is still in its original state. There's no, it hasn't been previous colored or chemically processed in any way. So I'm going um, and cutting the hair, doing like a rough cut. Uh, she wanted like a bowl cut type situation, but she wanted it where she can still wear it curly. Um, you know, a cut where she can still wear it curly or she can wear it um, straight. So if you can see, she has like a tapered cut. And if she wanted to, she could go in and um, do some finger coils and it'll be really nice. So I'm just molding her hair using Main Life Collection, Main Mint Foam. And I'm actually going to um, make a Silk Press Amazon list because a lot of you guys say you can't find the things that I have on there. So I'm going to make a specific list for all the things that I used um, or use for a Silk Press that is available on Amazon. And that list will be called Silk Press Essentials. Uh, so just check out my Amazon store. The link will be in the description box. You will be able to get everything from there except for the Main Life Collection products, which we are working to get on Amazon soon. <clears throat> now, molding. I do like to use the, the Paul Mitchell uh, foaming pomade, but um, I didn't have any, and I didn't expect to be doing a natural cut, so I didn't... Um, I didn't order any, but um, I have been getting people asking, and I'm like, oh, y'all definitely going to have to pay because it's not the same amount of work. Uh, so I will add that as well, and it just um, helps the curly hair straighten out some and lay down more. So that helps before. Uh, I have previous videos where I've used it in the past. If I can find them, I will link those videos as well so you guys can see um, exactly what I'm talking about. Y'all see why I do not like doing this? It's like work, struggle, struggle, flat, smooth, then it's snapping back. Like, I have some clients that don't get relaxers, but their hair is very wavy, so it's easy to mold. But um, I think probably with, you know, getting her hair trained and she doing it more often, it'll it'll get better. But honey, this was work. She's back from under the dryer, and I forgot to show y'all the initial blow dry process. I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. But honestly, I'm just taking the blow dryer comb and just blow drying it. And then I'm taking the um, pressing comb and just going through, like, pressing the short pieces and her roots. This is not the best pressing comb. I did find one that's a lot, lot better, and I will link that one. Um, I left it at home, so I don't have it here at the salon, but it is a lot better than this one. This one was okay, but, um, mm -mm. it's nothing like the stove and I actually have a stove one, but it'd be too hot. Like I don't got used to it. I don't got spoiled with plugins. Judge mama. So for the very, very short pieces, I'm using the Glam Palm Flat Iron. It's very, very thin. Uh, last time I checked um, Amazon, it was not available. So I don't know. I will check again. This larger iron that I'm using is actually the um, Paul Mitchell Neuro Smooth. If you've been following me for a long time, you know that I love that flat iron. 
I love to go in with a my neural smooth first, and then I like to finish because it is a uh, titanium flat iron, and then I like to finish with a ceramic. She is nice and pressed out. So now I'm going to go in and clean up the cut using my Big Mad Clipper, of course. And um, my shears will be Hanzo. So y'all, I asked her, has anybody ever told her that she reminds them of Glorilla? <laughs> and she was like, a lot of people have been telling her that lately. She does. So of course we had to go in with that Main Life Collection, Main Glaze. Y'all know you can get it, mainlifecollection.com. And then that's a main glaze is it has a um, heat protectant in it and it also gives the hair like an extra shine without weighing it down. So now we're going back in and doing our final press. And I'm using uh, Main Life's Collection 310 iron and I'm using EAP Heat uh, 1 inch.
Riding to the top, started from the floor How we got up here, you don't need to know Sniffing on the M, I need one of those Sniffing on the M like I got a cold Need to know, nah, you don't need to know Need to know, nah, you don't need to know How we got up here, you don't need to know Hit me, but I keep you on the need to know Came up from the bottom, started from the floor so, baby, she is finished. This is the final look. I'm just combing it through. Um, I think it turned out pretty good. She got exactly what she wanted. And y'all know the drill. If you like this video, comment, subscribe, and ring that bell. And I'll see you again.